I think that uh, Canada is one of the leading edge in technology, especially in automotive uh, industry, uh, simply because we're really well positioned with a lot of research and development that happens here and the thirst for the entrepreneurial spirit. We have a lot of great innovators and a lot of great inventions that actually are spurred on right here. And automotive is one of those places that truly uh, encapsulates that because we, we use one of the highest tech, leading edge technology to provide the highest quality and the highest efficiency uh, to compete in the world. We've actually been able to leverage a lot of the next generation of technologies, high quality and high efficiency of our, of our products. Uh, some of the next generation of technologies that we're really excited to see in the industry includes the uh, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles. These are things that are being actually developed in-house uh, right here in March and Rio. And we leverage all the different types of partners that are available all across Canada, speaking to people all the way from Vancouver, all the way into Montreal. We even have technologies such as graphene technology uh, that Martin Rio has. And these are the leading edge technologies that we're actually applying to the products of our next generation of vehicles. It's an exciting place to be in automotive. For the last hundred years, this is probably gonna be the greatest exponential growth in automotive, probably because of the change in the propulsion unit to going into a fully electric, and also because of the abundance in computing power. We're now trying to tap into that computing power in not only the vehicles themselves that we're producing, but also in the way that we make the vehicles. Every single thing that goes into the factory is now considered the most leading cutting edge in smart factories, where we're gathering data from every nuance of every single part of our processes to the macro side of things to understand the overall efficiency of our manufacturing. One of the reasons why automotive is so exciting is because the way that we are inclusive in all the different types of specialities that are out there. So everything from computing to software development to understanding the processes right down to the science. In Canada, we have all of that special skills. So we have researchers to programmers to up and coming uh, Gen Zs and millennials that are really leading the edge of what we can develop and how we can apply that into our man automotive manufacturing. I, I'm really excited to see how the, the young, uh, up and coming young group of people are coming up through the uh, automotive sector, uh, especially in Canada, because we're very, uh, so we're very excited about the young people that are coming into Canada, simply because we want to learn from them how we can apply a lot of the knowledge and the expertise that they've gained and the way that they think into the way that we do our manufacturing of automotive cars or automotive parts. Simply by having a very open uh, minded, inclusive, diverse nature, we can leverage so much of what Canada has to offer. Some of the stuff that has to offer includes the diversity of our cultures, the diversity of our genders, diversity in our thinking, and all of that if we, if we have the opportunity to use to create the next generation of technologies that goes into our vehicles or the way that we make the vehicles. We can make complex vehicles now with uh, special materials to complex uh, assemblies, to complex softwares that drive, drives our vehicles, but we also have even greater opportunity on how do we make the vehicles with the technology that we have available or we're gonna develop. That area for which we make the vehicles, we tap into uh, technologies that are not yet even uh, in mainstream. And that's an opportunity for us to utilize that technology and in encourage uh, all the different types of specialities that we have available in Canada. In our industry, especially, in order for us to compete, innovation has to be the center and the core of our uh, operations. So clearly, in order to get 
uh, innovation, we have to start with the culture of the company. And starting with the culture, we have our, our golden rule, our golden rule principle here in Martin Ria. That is, treat everybody with dignity and respect. That opens up the doors for people to be creative and opens up for diversity. One of the greatest diversity that we have are our women in our workforce. They come through the ranks with different perspectives. They bring a different dimension to the group dynamics that actually fosters innovation. Women in the workplace actually foster us to become more innovative because we're inclusive to all the different types of thinking. And especially in this case, we want to encourage more women into our workplace. I believe manufacturing is one of the leading areas for innovation because we produce high quality products over and over and over again. This lends itself very well for the next generation of technologies that include autonomous vehicles or autonomous thinking or artificial intelligence. Because we're making something of high quality over and over again, we're now able to leverage the technology in artificial intelligence to help us understand how to make products that we could have never achieved 10 years ago. And this is happening now. At Martin Ria, we're developing all of this type of technology in-house because we're the experts in the way we build our vehicles. One of the things that we do well here in Martin Ria is that we constantly challenge ourselves to think differently. One of our principles here at Martin Ria. And by thinking differently, we take uh, an opportunity to look at ways to learn how to unlearn. And by unlearning, we're actually opening ourselves to new opportunities to rethink traditional models, try to build it up again from the ground up. And that gives us a chance to leverage an accelerated rate of change that's never been seen before. 